Welcome to Moomoo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to compare fractions and show three shortcuts. For example, which fraction is larger, one-half or three-fourths? If the two fractions have the same denominator, then the fraction with the largest numerator is the largest fraction. If the fractions do not have the same denominators, but if you subtract the numerator from the denominator and it is the same, then the fraction with the largest numerator is the largest fraction. And finally, if the numerators are not the same, nor when you subtract the numerator from the denominator and they are not equal, you can cross multiply. In this example, when you cross multiply 5 times 7, which is 35, and 2 times 6, which is equal to 12, the fraction with the largest number after cross multiplying is the largest fraction. Let's look at some examples of comparing fractions and apply these three shortcuts. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some examples. In this first example, you'll notice the denominators are the same. So I know the fraction with the largest numerator, 3 is greater than 1, is the largest fraction. So I could write 3 fourths is greater than 1 fourth. In this next example, if I go, I can quickly glance, the denominators are different. 3 minus 4 is 1, 1 minus, or 2 minus 1 is 1. So all I have to do is the largest denominator, it's going to be the largest fraction, so 3 fourths is greater than 1 half. Okay? In this next example, denominators are different. I can glance quickly, 3 minus, 6 minus 3 is 3, 8 minus 7 is 1, so I'm going to have to cross multiply. So I go 3 times 8 is 24, 7 times 6 is 40. 2 and so 7 eighths is greater than 7 eighths is greater than 3 6 okay and that was just a cross multiply and this next one and you can see how this shortcut comes in handy 15 my 16 minus 15 is 1 and 8 minus 7 is 1 so I can just the largest numerator is the largest fraction and so 15 sixteenths is greater than 7 eighths. Now, if I didn't know that shortcut, I would have to multiply 15 times 8 and 16 times 7. And it's a lot easier doing it this method. Okay, let's go ahead and look at one more example. We have 3 sevenths and 2 thirds. I glanced, denominators are different. 7 minus 3 is 4, so I can't use that. So I'm going to have to cross multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 7 is 14, so 2 thirds is greater than 3 sevenths. Okay, hope that helps in comparing different fractions. Mumu Math uploads a new math video every day. Thanks for watching.